Hello students, welcome to Early Global Studies. Please turn to the course description page in your packet. I'm not going to read through everything here, but I am going to highlight several sections. I would like you to be able to go through these sections with your parents and guardians. Um, several sections I will read for you, with you. I would encourage you to read this over. This should become the first thing in your three ring binder. There will be a binder check in a couple of weeks. I want to make sure that you have the handouts that I've provided for you. This should be the first thing in your binder. Everything else that gets passed out in class should be put behind that. We will not have a lot of handouts this year because we're in the midst of a pandemic. And so we will be collecting all materials on Google Classroom. I'll show you how to take photos of work you do by hand. And uh, I'm not going to be collecting papers. All of that will be done through Google Classroom. But the papers that I hand out, I'd like you to keep because those will be useful for you to refer to. The first page where it says course description gives uh, my name, my email address, and my school phone number and extension. I am available for extra help. Please email me if you have questions or need to set up a time to meet or for a phone conference. Or you can remind me. Remind is an app that I'll show you how to sign up for. You can get uh, text reminders of homework, which I send out every lesson, or class announcements, which I send out rarely, but once in a while. Um, you can also write me, um, text me on that, um, although I receive it on my computer, not my phone, so don't feel dissed if I don't reply to you immediately. The next section says course summary and objectives. It describes where the course begins and then the course topics that we'll be looking at this year. I would encourage you to look at that list of topics and circle one that looks most interesting to you. I'll give you a few, uh, about a minute to do that. Circle one of the course topics that looks most interesting to you. The next section in, your, uh, in the course description describes the textbook. If you haven't got one already, I will provide one for you. This is a book you keep it at home. I don't want you to bring it to school uh, unless I ask you to, and that'll be very rarely. So this is a book you keep at home uh, to use at home. There will be assignments in the book, so you will need to keep the book safe. These books are expensive. so. Uh, once it's checked out to you, you're responsible for it, and uh, we'll need to pay for a new textbook if you lose it. Please don't lose it. Put it somewhere safe. Uh, you don't have to put it under your pillow, but someplace safe. Next section, required materials. Folks, every day you need to come with a charged computer or Chromebook. Please only bring a school-issued device, and when you're at home connecting to class, please use a school-issued device. This way I can help you better because I'll be checking in with you on GoGuardian and I can communicate with you uh, effectively that way. If you don't use a school-issued school, school issued device, it's very hard for me to help you um, on assignments most effectively. Please bring your own pen and pencil. I will not have pens and pencils to uh, loan out uh, this, this year as I've had in years past because we can't share those kind of things. You will need a small loose leaf binder, three ring notebook. Uh, that, isn't a, that is an assignment. And if, if, uh, if that's a financial problem for you, um, you just, just tell me, Mr. Spalding, I need, I need to help with a notebook and I'll, I'll get you one. Might be used one, um, but I'll, I'll, I'll get you something you can use. Doesn't have to look pretty. Um, could be a section in a bigger notebook. And, um, but you will need three rings to put your work in. Uh, once again, if that's a financial problem, 
or you have other issues. You don't have to explain it to me. Uh, just tell me, Mr. Spaulding, I need help with a binder, and I'll make sure you get one. Uh, probably a used one that I have um, from years past. Um, no shame in that. I've, uh, I would have been in the same situation when I was in high school. And finally, lined paper. And once again, if you can't um, get lined paper for some reasons, let me know. I will have that available from time to time, but it'll be helpful to have your own in your own notebook. Next section, restricted materials, cell phones, and other electronic devices are to be turned off during the school day. And any use of computers, including Chromebooks, is at my discretion. So that's to help you learn, folks. Um, I know it's hard coming back after the summer when you've used your devices probably a lot, but uh, that, that's the best way to learn is to be able to disconnect and to focus on what the task is. On the next page, work standards. All work will be submitted electronically through Google, Google Classroom. So work done in paper should be photographed and submitted in Google Classroom. And I'll show you several ways to do this if you don't know how. Grading. I'm not going to go through all of this point by point, but a couple things I want to highlight. Assignments marked resubmit, the fourth bullet point. Find that, please. Circle the word resubmit. If it's a resubmit assignment, and, that I, and I'll be uh, giving you that information electronically over Google Classroom, that means you need to resubmit it. Okay, look at what I, I've read, written to you, if it's on Google Classroom, or ask me what you need to do, and then resubmit it. If you resubmit work on Google Classroom, you must email me. I'll remind you of that, but uh, otherwise I won't know <laughs> that you've resubmitted it. So if I mark it resubmit, I want you to do it again. Or I may only want you to fix part of it. So that's why it's important to ask me what needs to be done. I want you to learn this year. And so if you're not, not getting it, I want to show you what you need to do so you can get it. Please note that assignments, uh, late assignments, are not accepted. That's the policy in our department. You know, if, some, if something comes up, you know, your little brother's sick or um, something like that, just let me know. I'll be human. We all have our days, and, uh, and, and I'll cut you some slack there. But don't make it a habit, and um, please get things done on time. Next section, makeup work. That's your responsibility. It'll be on Google Classroom, and uh, once again, you can contact me if you have questions about it. I can't really help you during class time on makeup work, because um, what we haven't assigned for that day is what we need to focus on. So please, you can ask me a question, but I'm probably not going to be able to help you a lot, because every class we have a lot planned and uh, stuff to do. But feel free, feel free to ask, and I'll point you in the right direction. The next section, WHS Academic Misconduct Policy. I can summarize this in one sentence. Don't cheat. Okay, Do your own work. Um, this, this goes through all the detail about that. Just do your own work. Okay, If you don't do your own work and I catch you, you get a zero and you can't make it up. And um, it's a bad deal. Bad deal for you and the person you copied from because um, you both get zeros. And uh, that's non-negotiable. Um, parents can talk to me about it, but that's, that's the bottom line. And that's, that's true in every class. Finally, on the last page, the Windsor Warrior Code. We are respectful. We are responsible. We are proud. We are warriors. So um, please, be respectful. Be responsible. Be proud. Be a good warrior.